Today, I will show you how to integrate PyCharm with GitLab. It is actually very simple, but the reason I make this video is because it is too easy to forget. If you did it in one time, then you will maybe in a long time not use it anymore. Then for the next project, you have to do it again. It is very time consumed. So this is video so this video is only for a notes. Okay. Now, uh, let's take a look how to sit in the GitHub, a uh, GitLab in uh, with PyCharm. So let's first go here, settings, and I think here should be a plugin. Search git hub git lab. So the so one git lab projects. Mm, we start. Now let's set the git lab plug in in PyCharm. I think you should go to the settings and the version control, click the GitLab and add new GitLab server, put in the GitLab address and OK. Now we enable version control uh, integration. Click a uh, choose the git. Okay. So we can see the files, the color of the files changes. Some of them become red. And in the version control console, you will see the integrations and the red means not the files didn't um, edit in the stack. Uh, let's go to settings and uh, add the personal access token. Let's click the token page. We will go to the GitLab website and choose the API. Give some name what you like. For example, I give it Connie GY, my name, and create personal access token. It is important you should save this token. and uh, copy this token, paste it in the blank, OK? Now let's create a new project in GitLab. And here give a name, for example, BL. Everything left default. And uh, click the create project. Now let's read the GitLab instruction. See here are some instructions, some commands, and you can just uh, copy them into your uh, Python PyCharm console. So um, see the see the um, 
get a global setup. So these two lines are set up as a username and a email address. Copy these two um, command, two line codes, and paste them in your uh, PyCharm console. And we can read uh, continues. There are some create a new repository, and uh, if you have a existing folder, um, and uh, I think we have the existing folder, so we need to copy this line code at the remote address to our PyCharm. Now it's the time to make a git ignore file and go to the setting and uh, click the ignore files. You can add some ignore files here but I uh, will do in another ways just to copy something from internet it is more easier more of uh, freedom you search PyCharm git ignore and click some links for example this one you will see the PyCharm ignore file. And yeah, so all the files are here. It's the right. Also PyCharm file. Just copy them. Select all and copy. And go to PyCharm. Make a new file. Name it as git ignore. Paste the files here. Paste the content here. Now see, you see this pop up. This pop up means so, or which file we should add to our git uh, stock, a stack. So we only choose git ignore. And paste all the content here, then save. And we see the git ignore file is um, the title is turned into green. It means this file is tracked. Then we input git add dot to track all the files we want to track. Input git status to have a check. Now let's push the code to the GitLab. We see the git push origin master oh uh, error coming. Ah, we need to make a commit at first. So let's input git commit minus n initial commit. Now we see all the files that will be committed. Finally, now we can uh, push our code. Git push origin master. You need to input your credential. Just input your username and password. Okay. So file will be pushed, successfully pushed. Let's go to the website, have a check. Go to project. And uh, yeah, all the codes are here. It's really nice. 
That's all. Thanks very much for watching.